All right. And we are we are recording. All right. Well, it's hot. So hot. Burnt my lip. Let me do it again. lovely color assortment that I have on the palette here today. Same colors. I'll put them down below. Little reference that I took down the road. So we're going to be going off of that. How do I want to do this? Set it down today, I guess. I'm going to start right about here. I put some medium on here already, so it's kind of, it's a little bit slippery. You might be able to see the glare. All right, so sunsets, sunrise, they're, they're always like the tough ones. And, you know, I don't think I'm particularly great at them. I've only done like two or three. So I got the camera like super zoomed in today so you can see a little bit better. Um, we're going to start off with a yellow color first. So let me just grab some of that yellow. And I'm going to say right about here maybe. And it's not even like a real yellow color. It's almost like an orangish color. So you don't want to like, you don't want to overdo this because it'll have like a real fake look to it. But there is some there. And for the sake of the yellow, I am going to put that in. I'm going to, I'm going to switch right over to a little bit of red, mixed a little bit of red into that yellow to give me like this little orangey color, which is like the main color more so than the yellow. So I'm just going to put some, I'm going to blend all this stuff in too. So I'm just going to move some of this color around here. Just like this. All right. So it comes right up to the yellow. And then it goes here. There's a little bit there, here, there, there. All right. Just moving that color around a little bit. And then we're going to switch over to red. A little bit more red in this. Let's see how this looks. This might be too, oh, too strong. I got some red right over top of this here. Some over here. Still looks orange, but it's red. And this is just like the base color. You know, you add some more details in once you get the base, base color down. Okay, some of that need like some pink, so I'm going to get some white. And put some of this nice little pink color right there. There's all kind of colors in sunrise and sunset. So many different ones. Put a little bit over here too. You know, I'm not like focusing too much attention on any one single area. I'm just getting the color down. We'll blend it in and then we'll work with it right after that. Looks like we got, we got some pink over here. And if you want to go over top of some of that orange, totally cool. You can totally do that because the red will eat up the orange without a problem. So I'm putting a little bit stronger of a pink there. It actually comes right down. And there's like a little bit of orange in between. So I hope you can see what I'm yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. And then some of it actually comes down right in the middle, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I might do that with a different, you know, different brush. Okay, so I'm there, and then we start to get to like, it like starts to turn like a purplish color up here, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. Just the base color. So let me set this down right here real quick <clears throat> and get another one of these one inch brushes and I'm going to work on the blue. Careful, you can't mix the blue and the yellow, you already probably know that. So 
So actually, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm just going to put a little bit of red right here, and we can cover this up with the blue, but it'll keep the green from happening. Okay, so I need some white. A real light blue color is what we're going to be using here. And maybe a little bit of red. So let me just let me put this up there and see how this looks. Oh yeah, nice. So I'm just going to yeah, get this up and we'll work it around, get it down, figure out how we want to balance the blue out. It's extremely, it's mostly white, just a little tiny touch of blue. I'm just dipping into some more white. Then I gotta come down here over top of the pink. And it's fine if you go across the pink, that won't do anything. That's just gonna make it turn like a little purple. You just gotta stay away from the actual, try to stay away from the orange, you know, and the yellows and and all that stuff. So it looks like we got some more of the blue sky that's showing through right there, there. You just don't want it to be like a straight line blue and then sunset. You want it to be like a little bit mixed, a little mixed up. And I'm just being like super loose about this. So we can work all the little details out later on. And if you do get a, like a small green spot, we'll just we'll cover that up with something. No big deal. Okay, there's that. While I'm here, there's like a little... I'm going off of this little picture right here. So if you hear me referring to something I already showed you, but that's what it is. So i got to make this little purple color right here. I'm going to add that in right now. Too dark. Go back to the white. Perfect. Just going to do a little little circles right here like this. Okay, I'm not doing nothing here. There's some trees and stuff over here. So let me, let me do this. I'm gonna hmm, carefully blend this out in this area here just like on the edge try not to go too far into the yellow actually let me wipe this off and I'm going to hit right here real quick too I got to hold this thing I'm just going to melt these colors right here And I got that red, that reddish color, you know, up in this area here. So it's not really going to turn too much green. There's a couple spots here that might be a little bit of a, on the greenish side, but that's okay. And that little bit of yellow that we put in is kind of like that transition point. We'll put white, we'll put some white on top of that, and that'll actually help brighten that, that sun, sunset up. Smooth this out a little bit more. Okay, there's that. And then I'm actually going to take the brush with our little, like the red color in it, and maybe do this. Just put like a couple areas, you know, put a little bit of the red in because there would be red, you know in the clouds and, and you know stuff like that because there's a sunrise or sunset happening you're going to get some of these cool little colors up here just make sure it's not a brush with yellow in it and this is just like a base layer like I was saying before that's all that is it's nothing else put little details on top of this little you know if you want to put your clouds on top this is the base this is what's going to help you this is what's going to help your you know your foundation it's going to help you get moving 
to make it a nice, cool, pretty little sunset. But this was actually a sunrise. I, I refer to it as both, but it was, it was definitely a sunrise when the picture was taken. All right, I don't want to overdo that. If I sound a little bit quiet today, it's because my throat is like, it's like sore. I don't know if I'm getting sick, but it's like, it's just like extremely sore. So I'm trying to like be on the lighter side. So, you know, just keep that in mind. All right, there we go. So we got that out of the way. This is like our base layer, good to go. Let me just hit this up real quick. Boom, done. All right. So you can do two different things. You can use a filbert. I'm going to try to use a, I'm going to use a fan brush here first. And I'm going to start adding in a, a couple of the details. I'll start on the light side first. So I'm just going to grab some white. It's a little, maybe has a little bit of the red color in it. That's cool. No worries. And I'm going to just go like this. I'm going to throw, there's like a few little, like little fluffy little things. You see that? I hope you can see that. And there's some here. And these just kind of are floating around, you know, around the sky. There's one right here. And this is just the light part here. There is some dark stuff too. And having that red tint is pretty cool because it's reflecting the clouds. It's reflecting off of the stuff that's happening right down here. And I'm just being real loose and I'm swirling these in. The only thing that you don't want to do is don't go down into here and then go back up to here. Just, or, you know, wipe your brush off in the meantime. So that's just some cool stuff happening there. Let me get some on the other side. There's not too, too much light over here, but I'm going to put a few things in anyways. Boom. All right. Let me wipe this off and then get some dark color. We got a purple color we need, so I'm going to take some blue and red, and that gives you a real nice purple. And I'm going to take some white paint to that because I don't want it to be completely dark. So it's just like a light purple color. You'll see as soon as I put it up here. I'm just going to swirl. There's some stuff happening right here like this. I'm just doing circles. And these are just like little, little, you know, clouds that are floating around. There's one here comes right off the edge. Comes into there like that. And I'm just like being, you know, going in the general area. I'm going to switch it up here a little bit. Maybe make it to more on the blue side. here we put the light there so we're going to put some dark underneath of that that just you know it's just going to help it be more three-dimensional so I'm not doing a whole lot you see just a little bit and we'll work that in okay but this actually comes down I'm just getting some more color here so there's definitely something that happens right here And then there's another one that comes down and that kind of goes right into that area right there. All right, before I go too far, let me grab another brush here real quick. I'm going to try to blend out some of the bottom. I got to use the red one. I'm going to try to just blend out some of this here. I just want to see how this looks. I'm really just softening it up. I don't want to like blend it down to nothing because it is pretty like crisp in the picture. These do stand out pretty good. Now I'm going to switch over to the other one that has the blue on it when I move up here because I don't want to, I, I just don't want any green up in here. I'm 
I'm going to go like back and forth, just kind of move it around. You know, don't do the same thing every time, like the same little circles, this, that. And some of this is all right to look washed out because, you know, there's a lot of light supposed to be right there. All right, put this back up, grab the other one, throw the roll of paper towels, and then we can come up here. Just work these two little colors together, the dark and the light. And it'll give you like a cloud looking shape. Okay, there's that. Let's put this back up here and go back to the fan brush. wipe it off. It's got some purple on it. And I want red. I want like a pink color. So I'm just moving some paint over here. Okay, real light pink color is what I'm trying to get here. More red. All right, cool. And this is some of this stuff happening over here. You got some dark, you got light, you got just a little bit of everything, really. There's a nice little blotch of red right there. And then. Some there like that. And then there's some down here too. There's not nothing up on this side here. Just gotta be careful. I don't want to add too much of this stuff because then it you know may not look right. Alright, cool. off this uh, this fan brush real quick all right which one which one let's try this one I'm just using this to hit the bottoms of these real quick I'm just going like super light step back real quick and just kind of take a look and see what we got going on here. Alrighty, alrighty. So we got that is there. That's good. I'm going to get me, I'm going to grab another fan brush real quick and get some light paint on here. And I want to kind of just, there's an angle that comes down like this. I just want to make sure I get that in there. I'm going to keep wiping it because going back from the blue into the orange, like that. It's just like some movement in the sky, that's all it is, but I just wanted, it, wanted to get it in there. Let me do one other thing here. I'm kind of going back and forth. I'm kind of I'm scattering from one thing to the next. I want to put a little bit of darker blue up here, around there, just in the corner mainly. Help separate some of those clouds, maybe some over on that side too. Okay, there's that. 
there's that. Then I can go back in with this, even with this white color, and just you know put something right back there. So it's not so like symmetrical. Maybe this one actually connects like that. You don't want all your angles going like you know one way. You want some stuff happening like you know going up, maybe up, down. All kinds of stuff happens in the sky. You know what I mean? I'm going to lighten this up a little bit because this is like further away. All right. I don't know if I'm going to use the, maybe I'll use the fan brush for it. Let's see. I'm just taking some white paint and I'm going to put some white paint here. right about there and then I'm going to blend that right into the yellow so let's just see make sure there's no blue on here I'm going to try to do these little circles here to make like a real just a nice transition from you know pure white to yellow and maybe even maybe even pull up on it like this just a little bit it'll give it like a little glow of like these little rays coming up out of here. You know what I'm saying? If you can see that. Pull across once and then wipe it off and you can come back and hit it again. It'll just, you know, when the painting's done, you'll probably be able to see it. It just gives that little feel that whew, something's happening in the sky. Let me get some red. Red, red, red. I like this purple color, but I feel like I need to hit it with some red. I don't know. I feel like it's just too purple. Maybe over here might be all right with the purple, but I just feel like it's too purple. <laughs> That's it. I'm just blending it now with actual with, with the fan brush. So I'm just gonna let me step back. I keep stepping back. Okay. Don't forget, when I, at 10,000, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a big, huge painting. So don't forget. Make sure you guys you know, share this stuff and get it out there. The quicker we get to 10,000, the quicker that somebody's going to get a brand new, big, humongous painting, shipping included. Mm. All right. All right, so there's a few things we can do. I'm probably not going to do too much. We can take uh, this little detail type brush and get some white paint, use some pure white. And you got the sun coming up like this. And you can surely add little thingies in the sky like this. You know, put some there, just like little light spots, you know, where it would hit the light. You think the light would be hitting some of these clouds on the underside here, maybe. You know, like up there, and then we can work all this color in. But that's something, you know, that you can do. It's not necessary. Depends on what you know what you're looking for and how much time you're looking to spend on one of these. So we got some light that would be there. Some over here. Now I haven't, I didn't put any yellow or anything. I'm just using pure white, just to give you know show you guys. You know, just the quick, easy things that you can do. And 
And you can put a little bit of yellow in there if you want. You just got to be careful when it comes to the blue. So let's actually do that. I'll show you. I'm going to put some yellow ochre in here. And we'll come back up here and, you know, sprinkle some of that color in too. You can't see it as good as the bright, the pure white. That's why I put the white in from the beginning. You know, but just, you know, be careful what colors, you know, that you mix. Put some there like this. Now we're getting close to the blue, so you want to be careful up here. All right, so there's like some little details taking place right there in the sky. Now if you want to see, I can just stay with the yellow, maybe a little bit of red. I'm going, to move from, I'm going to move over to like a pink color, and I'm going to come over here, and this is where you can do some like, you know, cool little like floater clouds and stuff like red, you know, pink, whatever. Wouldn't do too many because we've got a lot of red up in here already, you know, maybe just up here. Now that yellow that I had on here, I totally hit it up with red, so that killed it. So there's no more yellow on here that can mix with the blue and make green. Could just make some cool little designs and stuff. I'm just I'm just wiggling it around like this, because I'm going to come back with this, you know, and hit some of these bigger areas that I just did just to soften them up. Not too much. You don't want to. I don't want to kill the little things I just did, but because they're like random and they're not all symmetrical, so I want to try to keep them if I can. I'm not going to do a whole lot. All right, so I got to actually, I got to do something here because there's too much, but I did put too much white in there, so. I'm going to come in here like this and just put a little bit of red there, some red there, and I'm just going to go like this. There's some trees going right there, but boom, just like that. Sprinkle some of that up into there. And then I'm going to just, I'm going to go in circles like this. I'm going to blend this in. And I actually might even at this point have to put a little bit of orange back in because now <laughs> the red ate it. Yellow. Let me go back to my yellow and red, which gives me an, a nice orange. And we can put that in right. Put a little bit there. But, ooh, whew, that's bright. <laughs> A lot of orange there, so I'm actually going to wipe this off. Wipe it off, go into some of the white paint. This will help, like, kind of soften it down a little bit, make it not so vibrant. That was a really bright orange. Now I'm going to take some yellow ochre and actually mix some of that yellow ochre in here. I'm not worried about the bottom. There's trees happening there. One step at a time, back to the yellow now, because we took the yellow out. Okay, let's put the yellow back in. Maybe you can, we can even drag it down there a little bit too.
Okay, got our yellow back in. I'm going to go right back to this brush. Boom. Blend it in. Then we can go back to, now that we did all that, we redid our whole sunset. We can just go back in and put some white in here. Just little different areas. Like this. That just gives it a little bit of something maybe floating across or whatever. Just pulling some of this back up, some of the little sun rays. You don't have to do too much crazy on that. You'll see them if, you know, once it's done. All right, I'm just going to take some more white here. I'm just going to plant that white right there. Just for a minute. Okay. And this is what goes, the trees are going to go right in front of that. Dragging some of these lines out. Something like that right there. I'm not going to just keep playing back and forth with it because eventually it's going to just like, you know, have to scrape it off if you keep putting different colors in here and their sunsets are really tricky I think my personal opinion from them extremely tricky and that's why I don't do too many of them all right cool everything's good there let me just hit this one right here all right we can set that up there now I'm going to grab I guess I'll just use this fan brush that we had I'm going to put the shapes of these little tree things in here so I got to get some blue, black, dark color, just blue, black, and there's like some green in there, I think. And then I'm going to come up here like this. I'm just going to put some of the, maybe like the tops of them in. And we'll go work at them. So that, see, it goes right up to the where that sun is. And then there's one there. And they just kind of dissipate back that way. Now I'll hit this with like a little detail area to get some of the stuff to, you know, pop right up into that white. And then I'll add some stuff down below to make it look like the sun shining through. This goes out like this. So like that. This one comes up.
And these are just supposed to be like, you know, trees that are sort of in the distance, not too, too far in the distance, but they are out there. Just going to throw some color in here. This is all dry down here. I don't have anything down here, down here to help the paint slide around like I did up there. <clears throat> so when I said detail, this is what I'm talking about. Get a little one of these things. And I'm going to go into our color, our blue, black, and green. Just getting some on there. And then you can add the little, the little fine little areas in here. You know what I mean? Little tree, you know, whatever. Little branches and stuff. Whatever you want to add in there, you can just put them in with this. Little dots and taps. and You don't want, I mean, don't want to be too detailed because these are supposed to be like further away. Not real far away, but, you know, far enough to where you're not going to see individual leaves and things like that. I actually think the fan brush might even be better for this. Here, there's, there was like some trees that were far down here, so I'm just going to put just a little bit of color in there and then take any one of these brushes here and then blend over top of it like this. That'll just make it look like there's something real far away. A little bit of white on that because too dark. You see that right there? You have something that's like so far away, you don't know what it is, but you know it's something. Okay, back to this. Put some of that color in down here. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit over here just for like shadows and stuff. And then, let me just see a little sketch here. I think we're going this way. There was a ditch in the road. So we're going to go ahead and put that dark color in for that right now. <clears throat> and we'll work with this a little bit later. This will just help our, you know, play. I like doing sketches. Just, I mean, quick, easy little sketches. I love doing little sketches. And man, I got to tell you, my throat is killing me. I know I'm talking quiet today, but it's just because my throat is like dying. This coffee tastes pretty good, but it just hurts going down. Okay. <clears throat> what do we do now? What do we do now? All right. So that normally what I do, I just start adding all the base colors in just like we did up there. So I think I'm just going to use this fan brush. going to use the fan. I had to get some paper towels. I'm going to wipe this off. I think we could use this because we have like a, uh, it's like a greenish brownish color. So I'm going to take just brown and green and yellow ochre actually. Brown, green, yellow ochre, some white maybe. And then this is what I do. I get up here and I throw it on there and I'm like, oh yeah, it looks good, but we need more yellow ochre. So that's how I do it. You know, I figure out what color we need. Need some more white. So I'm going to put some white up here and I just go like this. I just mix it a lot of the time right here on the canvas. And for the back, I want more white to make it more pale. Going back towards the front, we're going to get some more of that yellow ochre color right there and just throw that down and We'll hit back to the brown. Everybody does it different. This is just how I do it. This is like what works for me. But I wanted this nice, uh, you know, orangey yellow color for the, it's going to be, you know, some of this is grass and hay and stuff like that. So I wanted it to reflect and 
look like it belongs there. Okay, so we're going to pull a lot of shadows out. That's why I stretched that down. And get some white over here. And the other thing is we have mist back here. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but you see what I'm doing? That's sort of the idea. What I just did. Just little circles. This is like the base layer of mist. <laughs> sun right here so it's going to be a little bit you know the grass or whatever may have a little bit of something happening in there keep that in mind and I'm just working this area because once the fence starts to go in I'm not it's going to be a little harder you know to work on this area once that goes in I gotta lighten it up here step back. I like to step back every few minutes to see what is happening. Let me grab, this is fine, this one that has the blue on it. I don't want to melt all these colors together. I just want to make it a little bit soft. That looks pretty cool right there. So I think I might be able to use the fan brush for this. But that mist, I'm just going to drop some white paint in here like this. Just like this. Just little circles. And I'm, I'm thinking about the placement here and the, the distance, and that's why I'm going a little higher because those trees are, these are far further away. All right, so now I'm going to go back to here, our one inch, and then boom. I'm just going to melt over the whole thing, but I'm not going to kill it. And you can go back and add if you want. Add more, add less, take it away, put more dark in. Or hell, you could just, you can come back like this if you want and use the, use the one inch brush to put the mist, I'm tongue tied, one inch to put the mist in if you want. And then you could just twirl it like this. You know, when it's all done and over with, it'll it'll look misty. It'll actually look misty. But if you want, wipe it off. Wipe it off. You know, you can get some more paint and then just some areas you can have a little bit lighter. You know what I mean? Like right there. Maybe the sun's hitting that mist and it's burning it off the trees. Something like that. Maybe you can put some there. It looks like a layer maybe right here, right? So whatever you want to do is what it is. So that's just an idea of how to make mist. And then you can reshape the ground, you know, like there. Maybe this comes out like that. Mix this up here. Pull some of these shadows or the dark, you know, just the blue, spread it around a little bit. Okay. Now, I took too much of this dark color out, so I got to I got to put some of it back in. I'm just going to so I'm just going to tap some in. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to keep the mist in mind. 
I'm going to go right in front of it so it actually does look like a little layer of mist right there, maybe. There's mist in between those trees right there. And I'm just going to pull some of this out. This could be anything. This could be a little grass and the shed, like you know, the shadow grass, whatever. It's just textures, all it is. So that's what I was just doing, tapping some stuff. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this, because sometimes I just feel like I start talking, and sometimes I don't even know if I know what I'm saying. So hopefully you guys like it. All right, what's next? What is next? Okay, so we got our color here. Got that. So, all right, so here's what's next. I'm just going to keep using the fan brush because it seems to be working so good. I actually think I have to draw a new line, which is going to come up to about there like that. All right, so we need to start doing this. Get some green. I'm just getting straight sap green. And I'm going to start getting some green on here. And then I'm going to come back and mix in, you know, the other colors. But I want to get the green on here first. So I'm just scrubbing it. It's all dry down here. This is dry. There's nothing in here. Nothing on here to help, you know, help the paint move around. All right, so there we go. We got some green. I'm going to go to the some black and blue, and I'm just going to get some of this darker color mainly towards the front, like little, you know, where the shadow areas will be. There's a tree right there. So this, most of this area right here is going to be shadow. Okay, a little bit of brown. Brown never hurts. All right, something I see here, I got to get rid of it, and I got to get rid of it right now, is you see this line? I put that there for a reason, but it's just going to, it's going to throw something off here the further that we move along with this. So I'm just going to blend this, uh, this line out just so it's not a line. I want it to be a softer transition from the lighter area to the darker area. It'll just look better when it's done. Grab some color from up here, you know, pull it back down here like that. Just killing that line. That's it. Okay, what do we got? What do we got here? I'm just going to get, I'm actually going to get a little bit more of this yellow ochre and spot that on. I think that's pretty good, I think. All right, so back to this line situation here. I'm going to grab I'm going to grab a filbert and let's see how do I want to do this? I want it to go from maybe here. I want it to probably start somewhere in this area here and I want it to kind of work maybe back that way. So I'm just drawing a line 
with nothing on it on the brush right now. Hmm. Let me get some brown and black real quick. I'm just going to go like this. I probably should use a ruler, but eh, what are you going to do? I just want to put in something. Okay, so that's going to be sort of like a no-go. So here's the cool part about that. I'm just going to blend this right out. I was going to do uh, the fence that I'm, I'm making here. I was going to make, you know, like a solid, solid fence, but change of plans. Okay, let me just... Throw a little texture in here, little greens and browns and stuff. It'll just look like little things happening in the background. Some of it's like blurred out, It'll look like nice little bushes, stuff like that. All right, perfect. Okay, so no more solid fence. We're going to make a little post fence, but before I do that, before I do that, nothing. I'm actually going to just do the fence first. So let me get some brown here real quick. Start with brown. And I'm going to start, maybe I'll start right about here. I'm going to be like, put one there. I'm just going to drop a few of these posts in and then I can get my, you know, I can fix the placement of them if I need to. Because I kind of wanted to go out into the distance. So I make some of them smaller. You can go back and adjust them. That's what I do. Something like that. And then put one here, like that. And then maybe there's one going right off the edge. Something like that. All right, now is when I'm going to go back and try to f make sure that these are all the way that they should be. Make some of them a little bit bigger. You can, sh you know, shave the bottoms of them off. And when I say shave the bottom, I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me just wipe this off real quick, so you can just kind of come back and go like this. Let me step back and see how that looks. in here and mess this up, put little stuff, swirls and lines and all that stuff. All right, so cool. I just got to go down here and just make, you know, something over there just, just so it's there. All right, cool. So that's that there. Let me see. What else do I want to do? I'm going to grab a different brush here real quick. I'm going to get this little detail one, and I'm going to just take white, some white paint and some yellow ochre. And I'm just going to drop an edge real quick on some of these, just like this. <clears throat> My 
further you get down here, it doesn't have to be too clear. Just little thingies like that. Just drop some more on this edge there. Like that. And I'm actually going to go, I'm just going to put like a little across the top here, a little dot. Something like that. All right, that looks pretty cool. Okay, let me grab same color black and brown that we used for those posts. Just black and brown. And then I guess I'll probably start somewhere here. I'm just going to make these little just thin little posts. I'm going to get more paint probably after each one. I think I'm just going to do two, just like two posts on each one. Three, I think. I don't know. I don't know how that'll look. <clears throat> they don't all have to be super even. I'll make this one go up like this. You get the idea, right? I could probably just spend more time on this and, you know, make it look good or better. <laughs> but I'm not. Lighter as they go further away. So, yeah. I just kind of flew through that. I'm actually going to hit some of these real quick. I'm just dropping the angle on this one. Or if you want, you could even go like this. A line straight through. You can do that. It might help it look a little bit, you know, more like you did it with like a ruler, maybe. Not super important, in my opinion. Especially when you get down there, you want the fence to be like out of out of sight, blurry. I'm going back to this yellow color real quick, and I'm I'm just going to add a few like little areas on the top. You know, just where you would see the light. And you could just spend so much more time on, on doing this stuff. You know, I'm just, I'm just kind of going through it. You know what I mean? Just doing, um, I guess you would call it just like the basics of it. That's all I'm really doing. All right, so I'm going to just take some black real quick. Black and maybe some green black and green. Okay, so we got these posts, right? The sun is like phew, coming that way. This is not super, don't spend a lot of time on this, super important, but there's going to be some shadows here, right? Maybe the angle is actually this way. So I'm just going to go like this. I gotta bolt this thing to the floor. <laughs> so I'm just putting the dark color down 
for where the shadows would, you know, most likely be. All right, so there's that. Let me just add a couple dark things back here too. All right, done. And when we put the lighter color on top, it's going to help because we're not going to put a highlight, you know, like right there. Let me just hit this real quick. There's a bare spot right there. Actually, let me just scrub around with this real quick. I'm going to take some of this yellow ochre real quick and just kind of place this around while I'm thinking about it. But I don't want to like blend it all the way in because, you know, I want to see it in certain areas. You know, you don't want it to be all, all one green, you know, just one dead old like green color. You know what I mean? So just spin it around like that. So now we got a couple different greens and I hope that you guys can see this. All right. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. All right. So boom, we got like a tree that was like right here somewhere like whew, like that. So I'm going to get some brown and black because it's like real dark this tree it's like I don't know it's like early in the morning here so I'm gonna get brown and black and where do I want to drop this tree at I want to drop this tree like maybe right there something like that so I'm gonna come up here like this and I'm just gonna bring I'm just gonna drop it like that I'm gonna get some more brown Come back up here. Yeah, something like that. And we could straighten this up later. You know what I mean? Like straighten the trunk up and, you know, or make it thicker or whatever. I just want to get it, get it down right now. Get it onto the ground. Plant it. <laughs> Actually, I think it is. I think it is taller. So I'm going to come up here like this. Something like that. Yeah. And we can shorten the trunk up too. That's what I like about this. Like I like just throwing the paint down. I don't put anything on the bottom of this. I don't make it wet or nothing. When I put my paint down, it, the paint is what gets it wet. The, the initial layer that I put down, so it can look. I can shrink this up. I could turn this into like a like a shadow you know what I mean and, and reshape the the roots and all that stuff on this tree so boom all right I'm just going to keep using this filbert right now I'm going to get black and blue and just a bunch of dark colors so where we got blue here black and some green Let's start with that so this is just like a big chunk of dark so I'm going to just I'm going to get the center here nice and full first like that. Get the center good and full. There's some stuff over here. Just get like the basic shape going, you know what I mean? Basic shapes here. And then you can work off, you know, work out and in, whatever you want to do. And you start just like doing like more fine type things when you get to the edges. So I just got to step back every few minutes and see where, where I'm going with this.
yeah, this tree was just like wild. It was just kind of hanging all over the place. Just gonna keep putting that dark back in there. And just leave some of it show through, you know what I mean? Like some of the background. Put some cool little things on the edges and little limbs and stuff. Okay, get some darker color, just some black and blue. Black and blue for here. Just yeah, for the sake of this little lesson that I'm doing, that's that's pretty much like what it was in the picture. I mean, it's a little bit different, a little bit blurry, but it's just a blob of dark. You know what I mean? So the point is, is that I wanted to, you know, make something similar to the photo here that I took. All right, let's work on the edge of this tree real quick. Yellow ochre and and some brown. A little bit of red. Throw something. Sun's right there, so we're gonna see some of this. Get some white up in there. I'm gonna actually go like this. Hold it. I'm gonna just kind of let it drag down like that. Just to put something on that edge, you know what I mean? And we'll, I'll blend in the back half of this here. Just so it's not like this uh, harsh thing happening. I'm going to go right into blue and black with this. And I'm going to go right over to here and start putting some dark color in on that side. And I'm going to actually make this trunk bigger. Now, let me get some white and blue because it's dark on that one side of the trunk. You can't really see it. So I'm going to put in a reflected light shadow, maybe one in there. Let's see how this looks. Something like that. All right, I'm going to wipe this off. I'm not leaving it like that. I'm just going to, I'm going to blend in some of this blue reflected shadow that I put here. So maybe there's just like an indication of it there. Just so you know it's there. You know that's the edge of the trunk or whatever. And I'm just going to do one thing. I'm going to grab almost pure white. Just gonna spot some of this on. A few areas like that. Same thing. I'm gonna kill that back edge like I always do. Pull some of it sideways, just kinda you know, give it that tree shape, you know what I mean? Brand root or the uh, the bark is doing all kinds of different things and stuff. Slap some color up into there too. And then I'm just going to get some dark color and then, you know, put like there could be little branches and stuff sticking out and, you know, maybe running up that way. I would use a liner for this, but I'm just throwing in these little indications and stuff. So.
just so you get the idea of what I'm even doing here. All right, let me set that back down and grab up. I'm going to grab the filbert real quick. I need some green and some black and brown for right here. More green. blend all this color in. Just putting some texture down here real quick because this is like where the shadow would definitely be. And maybe just, I don't know, a couple things back here, I guess. These are just like little darker spots that'll show up as something when, you know, when we're done. But that being said, we're actually almost, almost to the point of being done this up here and maybe I'll try with a fan brush I'm gonna grab a fan brush real quick I'm gonna start putting in just some of the like the highlight colors real quick so we already got green down so I'm gonna get some yellow so I'm just gonna take some yellow maybe a little bit of green in it and put a few we'll start over here I'm just gonna tap in a couple little light areas here. Put some over here on top of that dark that I was just putting in. That'll help it like, you know, it helps to give it a, it's like a three dimensional type look. And then make some coming right off of the edge of that root and, and behind the tree too, like this. Just going to be like real careful about back here, just real light, light color back there. You don't want too much back there because this is like further away in the picture. Put a little bit in between these posts here first. I want to just soften this up here a little bit because. Once again, it's not, I don't want it to stick out too much. Put a little bit of brighter color right there. So this is just like, yeah, the highlight section where just kind of forming the, you know, the shape of the ground and all that good stuff. Make it a little bit brighter right there too, right off of the edge of that tree. down, put a little bit there maybe too. All right. I think I'm going to try to switch over to a bigger brush real quick and see. I'll use this dirty one maybe. We'll try that. I'm just going to, I'm going in, I'm just using yellow, same color that I've been using. Let's just see what this looks like. 
just to tap in some colors here. Go over here. This will help like give it a little bit different of a look also. Than the fan brush. The fan brush every you know every brush has a different look. And I'm I'm like reloading this constantly getting new, you know, more paint on here. I want it to slope down a little bit. Towards the ditch in the front. And if there's like an area that you don't really like how it looks, if it looks too sharp, you know, just like tap on it a little bit and it'll make it like softer again. All right, a little bit over here, more of a green color though. So we'll come down, it comes down like this. Put some stuff back here. You know, this is just like an easy way to do it too, you know what I mean? <clears throat> just a way where you can get a result, which, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody that does this is just looking for a result. I know I am when I do this, I'm looking for a result. You know, I personally don't want to spend, you know, days or, you know, weeks painting something. I, you know, everybody's different. I want to, I just want to get in there and, you know, get it done, you know what I mean? Have something to to look at in, in an hour or so. That's just me though. I just switched up colors a little bit to put a little bit of that yellow ochre color mixed with green in here just to, just to mix it up a little bit. Put some back here too, it's soft enough. So you see this black area right here that we, that we left in? I'm going to just get this little, this small little synthetic detail brush and I'm going to take, first I'm going to take some brown and I'm going to go like this. There was just like, you know, maybe a few rocks and things. So I'm just going to take some brown color and put that brown right in there. Just like this. Okay, and then I'm going to grab some white and mix it with the brown and yellow ochre. And I'm gonna get like, just like a golden brown color. And I'm just gonna put a few little, little highlights and stuff here. I just really wanna give the indication that the ground is sloping down from here. It's going down like that. And that's all that it's doing. Add some grass in there too in a second. Fix that area up. So I'm going to keep that pretty dark. I might grab this knife real quick though and just mix up a like a mm, it's too too light. I might go like this. That's too light. Let me get some, let me get some darker color in there. See how this looks. You know, just something to show that there's something happening here, you know. Maybe some rock movements or something. You could bring some of it even back onto the land if you want. Put some there, there. There wasn't like a whole lot of rocks there, but thought it was a good way to, to show what, what this ditch is doing here. So we got those right there. Let me go over here and grab a little bit of a lighter color for where that sun is right there. And then 
put it right there. All right, I'm gonna set that down, and then I'm gonna go back to the big brush, get some yellow, tap it into some yellow, and then we can go like this. You know, run some of this grass down into there. It just helps it be more completed, that's all it does. So you see there's something happening right here, you know what I mean? And if you want to, you can take, get a little bit of white going, and yellow. But be careful because you can go overboard doing this. So like the sun is right there, you can put a little bit, let me just get some more yellow on here. You know, some bright color. You know, if you just wanted to show, like, yeah, the sun is definitely shining right here. But yeah, I definitely go overboard doing this all the time, so be careful. <laughs> back real quick. Maybe I'll just do a little bit there. And you know, like I always say, you guys can go in here, you can take a liner brush and you can make all kinds of grass and stuff like that, but I think I'm done with this one, so. You know, I really, uh, let me do something here real quick. Let me, I got this little cool little remote. Cool, I can zoom out. All right, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I know I told you guys my throat is just like so sore. I actually don't even feel, I feel like really sick. I think I'm coming down with something, but I've been wanting to get this, get this done for you guys for like a couple, not a couple of weeks, about a week now. And uh, I wanna make sure that I'm really consistent for you guys. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's really, you know, I'm like I said, I'm not a teacher. I'm not an art teacher. I don't have a degree in any of this stuff. This is just what works for me. So if it works for you, that's awesome. You know, definitely keep watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. At 10,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a huge painting. So make sure, make sure that you guys follow along. I have a bunch of other stuff that I'm giving away. I can't talk about that right now. But just make sure you guys follow along. And I hope to see you in the very next video when I'm feeling 100 times better than what I am right now. I'm still feeling good, but you know, just a little under the weather. I'll see you all guys real soon. I'll see you all. I, I mess that up every single time. Take care. I'll see you.